I'm Kelly from Kelly James Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pendant. I've put a list of everything you'll need in the description below. Let's get started. So cut your wires to the lengths that I have, position your thumb centrally on your wires and we'll start weaving just to the left of your thumb there. So we're just tying these wires together so you can do any weave you like really. I'm going to start with three wraps around the bottom wire. So we'll go around the bottom two, coming up between those two, then I'll go around the middle two wires, coming up between those two wires, over the top, bring the wire up between the bottom two, go around the middle two wires, then around the bottom two. And that's our repeat. So we'll do another couple of repeats of that weave. So I've done five repeats of that weave. And then finish it with three wraps around the bottom wire. And if your weave has slid along the wires a little, take it back to sort of centrally the central point, push your weave together, keep it nice and tidy and we'll cut those wires. I'll give the wire a little pull just to make sure it's nice and tight around there and then I cut it, cut it nice and close and then flatten down that little cut end. So we're going to bend this around our stone. So we'll put a little bend in it first just to make it a bit easier to handle. So the three wraps are at the bottom, so they're going to go to the back. So move into a flat surface, grab your stone, and we're going to wrap that around the stone. Let your wires cross over above. And then when you're happy with the when you're happy with that, we're gonna bend the wires straight at the top. So I'm gonna grip it there and I'm just gonna give it a little wiggle. And then I'm going to bend the wires where that, the wiggle starts to put a mark in the wires and bend them a bit for me, if you know what I mean. It's just a bit tough to bend all the wires up with your fingers. So we've got that shape. So at the top here, just bend your wires out a bit so we can keep an eye on what's what. And those wires aren't going to cross over each other. And we'll add a weave. <clears throat> I want to weave centrally on both sides. So we'll do just a couple of repeats of this. Keeping the three wraps on that back wire. So we'll wrap. 
three times around the back wire which is the bottom wire and then slide that down oh what's going on here slide it down to kind of centrally and we'll do that weave that we just did so we go around the bottom two around the middle two Around the top two. Around the middle two. And around the bottom two. And we'll do another couple of repeats of that weave. So I've repeated that weave and I think that will be enough. So we'll just have the one repeat of that weave and then we'll finish with three wraps around the bottom wire cut the weaving wire at both ends and press down the little cut ends so slide that weave along if it's moved so you want it sort of centrally there and um, this one keeps moving as well so make sure that's centrally at the bottom and we'll add another weave on this side so turning it over we want the three wraps to remain on that back wire so we'll do the same weave again we'll do the two repeats i can just grab hold of my weaving wire and we'll start with three wraps around the top wire which is the back wire slide that down to be kind of central and do that same repeat on that side do two so i've done two repeats of that weave and it's gone right to the top so slide it down to be central and we're going to um, cut those wires and um, flatten down the cut so we've got the bigger repeats at the bottom the bigger weave at the bottom and the two side weaves that's what we've got so far reposition your stone and then press your wires around it again i um i've because i've been correcting the top wires while i've been weaving i misshaped it all a bit so wrap it around the push your stone in there and then pull the wires around the stone again so it fits so now we're going to attach the wires together at the top so take one of your back wires and we'll wrap around a few times. Now this one's giving me trouble. I have tried wrapping around this top bit a few times and I can't get it nice and tidy. I want it to be nice and tight and tidy and I want all the wires to be next to each other. You can probably see all the marks on my wires because I'm having trouble. I'm going to try going round the other way because I keep pulling my wires together. So I'm going to try coming around that side and holding them all together tight. That's better. And then you want one of these back wires here. And you want to go a few times around that wire just to hold it all in place I don't know why I struggled with that so much <laughs> one of those days this one's going to give me trouble isn't it so we're going to cut the wire from the beginning of that lot press down that little end if you can get to it and then we'll reposition the stone now my wraps have moved because I have been wrestling with it so make sure your wraps are nice and central your weaves reposition your stone 
and we're going to attach that we'll secure that stone in next going to the back i've got quite a slippy stone here so this is going to keep moving about this one really doesn't like me today so hold the stone in the best you can we've got a lovely piece of carnelian we're going to make a little gap here just between those back two wires so just so we can get the pliers in there and we're going to pull the wires over the stone which would be the best way to do this let's do it here at the top so next to the weave here holding your stone in we're just going to twist the wire over the stone and again above got a little cut end there get your pliers in above the weave as well we're going to bend that in get back in there and then we'll do it on the other side so fight your stone back in if you're having the same problem with me as i am and we'll do this side grab that wire and pull it over the stone and then this bit here this will keep all the weaves from sliding around anyway bend that one up so we've got the stone trapped in at the back I think and push that over the stone a bit so you can't escape and to the front if you part your wires here to just stop that stop those wraps from sliding up because if they slide up then the stone will be loose so that'll hold it in there for a second so what we're doing this next part so again we're going to be gripping the wires so just make a little gap there I've just finished a written tutorial for this pendant. It's written so it's an instant download and it's currently available in my Etsy shop and on my website. So check it out and thanks for looking. Bye! Bottom corner here, we're going to pull the wire in. And then we're going to pull the next one in a little bit. It's more of a twist than a pull. So the first one you kind of pull it in. And the second one you just kind of twist it. And then I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to do that here. To these two. So grip the wire. Twist and pull the wire over the stone a bit. And then get the wire next to it. And it's more of a twist so we have that and then these two wires I'm just going to shape it forward with my finger so we're just pulling it forward a little bit and this one so you pull it forward in the middle And we're just shaping it, not using the pliers. I want that forward, that wire to be more forward than that. That's it. I want a gap between the wires. So I wasn't going to, but we'll make a bail because then it's easier to easier to wear. Take the front two wires going to pull them forward a little bit so they're away from everything I think I'm going to pull the rest down out the way for now I'm going to bring this wire forward and I'm going to weave across the two wires at the front so I've wrapped I'm going to go I've gone around once around the bottom wire just to bring you there so I'm going to go around the two wires Yeah. 
coming up between the two wires and then I'll go around the top wire and then around the bottom wire and that's our repeat so we go around two come up between around the top wire and around the bottom wire and keep repeating that weave So I've done about two and a half centimetres of that weave. Make sure you keep pushing it together as you go. Pulling the weave forward at the base. We're going to bend this over to the back. So this is our bail. At the bottom of the weave there we want to bend the wires out to the back so as we bring this weave down it sits nice and flush against that against those wraps from earlier we want to make sure it's all nice and straight And then take this weaving wire at the back and we're going to go around the whole thing bringing your wraps below the previous ones so the wraps will be sat nice and tidy and then wrap around and around the whole thing And then go around one of those back wires a few times to finish it off and to secure those wraps. Cut that weaving wire and press down the cut end. You're happy with your bail? And you've finished off your wires at the back. Take your weaving wire. And we're going to weave across these two front wires here. So we'll start with three wraps around the bottom wire. I always use one of those little plastic bobbins and it's just flew off because I've got towards the end of my wire. And it's going to be really annoying now with it keep, the wire keep coming off all over the place. I do love those little plastic bobbins. So I've gone three wraps around that bottom wire. Then I'll go three wraps around the two wires and that'll be our repeat. Keep pushing it down as you go. Keep repeating that weave. So please mention me when sharing your finished work online. Please don't show in progress images or pictures of the back. If you guys were to share how this was made, then I wouldn't get any views or any sales. So I'm giving you this tutorial for free and all I ask in return is that you mention me and you don't share pictures of the back or in progress. And I really appreciate everybody who does. I really do, it really means a lot to me. And then I can keep, if I'm getting the views then I can keep giving you free tutorials. So that's it, keep repeating that a few more times. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to be notified of new videos that I do, press the notification bell and it should tell you when I next upload a, a free tutorial. So I've done 12 repeats of that weave. I'm just going to twist it so I adjust the angle of that weave. What I'm going to do is pushing it down at the base there to start with. So I've definitely got one wire on top of the other and it's not flat. Hold on, we just need to cut off this little tail end while we can still get to it. There we go. 
don't forget to keep pushing your weave together as you go so yeah pushed it down at the base and we're going to scoop it over I know I say scoop I mean like as in we're going to make a circular thing we're not just going to bend it in a direction we're going to scoop it around if that makes sense so I've taken it over and around and over so we've gone over the bale and around to the front on this side here and next I'm going to take one of these wires on this side the front one over here and I'm going to scoop it and as I do I'm going to push it up so I'm bending it around but I'm pushing it I've pushed it up a little bit because I can't bend it up at the base because it's in a funny place and then I'm going to bring that wire around to sit with these two wires here and I'm going to take the next wire and I'm going to do a similar thing to that one but bringing it down a little bit lower scooping it around again if you press into the wire as you bend it you get more of a gentle scoop shape rather than a, a bend as such I'm going to push that wire in a little bit I'm bringing them together here as well do this one as well to keep the keep the shape going so I'm going to scoop it around lower than the others bring it around shall I bring it to the front or to the back if I've got enough wires at the front I'm going to take it to the back but I want to keep that shape we've got going on So this last wire on this side, I'm going to scoop over this way. I'm going to bring it to the front for now. I'm doing a big scoop around like that. And then I'm going to hold the wire here and I'm going to take this wire around again. And I want to put a bead on there. So stop there because otherwise you'll never get the bead around the bend. Hold on, I'm just trying to find a bead. I've got one. So I'm using a little 3mm copper bead. And then we're going to take that wire around. And as it comes around... I want it to go behind all of those wires there. So holding this tight, so we go tight around the bead. I'm going to go across behind the other wires. Does that make sense? So we bent this one around this way, brought it to the front, <coughs> pop your bead on. And then bring it around and as you come around take it behind your wires your front wires so it ends up over there and we've got like a nice rounded type shape on the top there this weaving wire still needs to be on this side because i'm going to attach all these wires together this one over here from the bead that can just finish off around the back of there so holding the bead wire tightly so it doesn't move, we're going to send this wire around the middle section with all the wraps. We can just finish that off around there. You don't want to misshape this here. So hold it the best you can. Take that wire around. I think I'm going to take it around back of the bale there. Have a look see how long your wire is. 
and I'll just wrap it around the back there. So I've wrapped it, <coughs> I've come around, <coughs> excuse me, and wrapped it around that bale there. So I've taken that curly bead wire around the back and I've gone around the bale a couple of times. At the back, this wire that comes across the back, I want it to go around these wires. So I'm going to wrap it around these wires, but I don't want it to pull that wire out of shape. So then once I've got it around the wires, I'm going to squeeze it in place around those two wires. So now we've got four wires on the front here. So we'll wrap once around the middle two wires. Then we'll go around the bottom two, bringing the wire up in between, and we'll do the the weave we did for the sides. So it's all in keep, it's all matching. So we go around the middle two. It's a bit awkward because you're against the stone now. Go around the middle two, over the top and around the top two. Then around the middle two and around the bottom two and then try and push your weave up. So we'll repeat that a couple more times down there. So I've done uh, like four repeats of that weave there and I'm going to finish with <clears throat> a few wraps around the bottom wire. Really keep pushing my weave together to keep it nice and tidy and cut that weaving wire at the back. So the top wire is going to go to the back because that's like our anchor that'll hold that weave down. So bend it around to the back and I shall attach it there. This wire I'm going to scoop down. And depending on how long your wire is, I might mention to start with slightly longer wires than mine. So you'll have a bit more length to play with when it comes to finishing off these little curls. So I've done a little curl there. I think I'm going to add some coils to this one just to break it up a bit. So take your weaving wire and we'll add coils to that wire. And keep pressing them together. I'm going to cut the tail end off from the beginning. Crazy snoring. Slide your coils down. I wanted the coils on the other one, didn't I? So do your coils on this wire, and if you do them on the wrong wire, you can very carefully slide them off and sneak them back onto this one, like I just did. Because I want this to come around to this wire. 
I'm going to add some more coils. And your wires should hopefully be a little bit longer than mine. So I've added some more coils. And I'm going to bring this wire underneath this wire. And then I'm going to add some more coils. I haven't got much wire left. Keep pushing the coils together. Taking this wire around over that wire. That's my neighbour shouting at the telly if you couldn't hear her. <laughs> and I'm going to bring these two wires together here. And I'm going to wrap around both wires a couple of times. And finish with a few wraps around the coiled wire again. Cut that weaving wire. And press that cut end nice and flat. So then this wire is going to curl up. To a little curl. Very little curl. And then this one is going to curl the other way. An even smaller curl, cute little dinky curl, and then our last wire is just going to come around those two as if it's cupping around those wires. With a little bit of weaving wire, I'm going to go along this wire and I'm just going to attach everything together there. So I'm going to take a short length of weaving wire about six inches long. I'm going to wrap a few times around the longer outer wire to attach. Positioning it all very centrally. I'm then going to bring the wire up inside that little curl and go around all three wires a couple of times and that's going to be a bit of a struggle and you don't need to sit there watching me trying to get this wire through that loop. So we're going to round those three wires twice and then I will go around that middle longer wire a few times. Really press it together, cut the weaving wire at both ends, press down the cut ends. last bottom wire, I'm going to bring over those wires and curl it around. trying to flatten it a little bit you can tie that down too if you want to if your curls a little bit bigger than mine you can tie it to another one so we need to finish off these wires at the back and this one here so this is like our anchor wire that holds that weave down and I'm just going to wrap that around that back wire there so we can cut him off Pull that wire away from the stone a little, so we've got a gap, and then holding that wire at the side, we're going to take this end around through the gap. So we'll take the wire around 
and then with your other pliers just squeeze it around that wire hold it in place check it hasn't moved at the front wires always just gonna do little curls on them just to finish them off you could attach them to these side wires here if you want to if your stone is needs a little bit more securing you could attach those to the back there and it'll make it more secure or you can just cut them short and curl them So I'm going to run and oxidise that. It didn't go according to my plan. I did try and follow my little sketch at the beginning, which has ended up with all this wire down the side. I'm going to go and oxidise and I shall show you what it looks didn't like. I like how that curl had curled there. So I pulled it out, I snipped the tip off it and curled it back in and it looks much better now. So there we have it finished. I've oxidised mine. If you'd like help oxidising yours, I did a, a video on oxidising and aftercare. I'll put a link in the description below. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.